Welcome to the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, the Smart Survival Guide. This episode will focus on the measurement tools from the toolbar, and I'm your host, Matt Granger. So Smart Notebook 11, and actually 10.7, 10.8 also, have these measurement tools that you can access and use from your toolbar. There's a compass, the ruler, and then two different protractors. So we'll take a look briefly at how to use each one, how to maneuver, man, uh, manipulate them, because it can be kind of tricky. So, right up in your toolbar, you're going to find this button, the measurement tools. When you click that, you're going to get a little drop-down menu of your choices. So I'm going to select ruler. So here's the ruler. What you have to learn about these is where to click to move and to do the different things. So this kind of dark bar in the middle with the four, you get the four-headed arrow there. That's how you can actually move the ruler. This green arrow, the up-down arrow on there, when you click that, that's how you flip from inches to centimeters. Up here along the top, or the bottom when you get the circular arrows when you click there then you can drag to change the angle and it it uses this point right here at the zero as its kind of lock point and then it rotates around there and it kind of gives you it gives you the uh, angle measurement here from you know if there was a line there um, but if you need to change the orientation of it to measure something you can do it that way the middle the dark with the four-headed arrow for moving the circular arrow for rotating the green arrow for switching between centimeters and inches and then at the very end you can grab it and drag to extend it another thing you can do here with the uh, the ruler is you can pick up your pen and use the ruler as a straight edge. See where my pen is down here? I'm nowhere near that. But it uses the edge of the ruler as a straight edge. So that is how the ruler tool works. Next we'll go and take a look at the compass. Uh, to make it bigger, think about using it right the way that you would use a regular compass. So you'd put the point down and then you would grab this part to extend it. Right? This arrow will flip where it is. You may need to you know, measure it. You may want it starting in a certain point over here instead you want, may want to put marks there on this side so you want to flip it. Before you draw you use your little green dot there and then when you're ready to draw notice how the cursor turns into a pen when you go over the black or the colored part of the pen now when you click and drag or tap on the board you're going to draw your circle. If you need to change the color of the pen, you just come into your pen tool. And now, so I want to move this. Right? I want to move it to a different spot on the page so I can grab it. And where would you pick it up? You would likely pick it up at the top. So that's where you get the four-headed arrow there. So you can pick it up and move it that way. And now that it's green, I click there, and I can make my green circle. There we go. Can you use other pens on there besides the regular pens? Like the creative pen, for instance. It doesn't work that way. Just your solid colored pens. Now, could you change some of the properties for this pen? 
if I didn't want green, if I wanted a different color, can I do that? Can I come out here and select this color? Yes, I can. Can I change to a dotted line? Move it. Yes, you can change those properties as well. So that's the compass tool. Next one is your protractor. This is the protractor I'm familiar with. So here you've got the darker area, you've got the four headed arrow, so that's going to allow you to move the protractor. Out here on the outside of it, I get the two arrows in a circle that's my rotate so I can rotate it and it rotates around your center point here click here I can also get a full circle so you've got either half or full to make it bigger on the inside scale here notice that you get the little two-headed arrow so you can make the protractor bigger and smaller if you need to. Okay, So I wanted to measure this angle. So I would take my protractor tool, move it. So now that I have it set, when I click here in the middle, I get this little green dot, which isn't going to rotate, but I can actually use it now to measure my angle. That's a 41 degree angle. And then this little green arrow here shoots it out as an image. And just like any other graphic, this you can do any of those things with the graphic from your drop down menu. So that is the regular protractor. There's also this triangular one, which I can show you how to maneuver it and do all that but I'm not sure what a geodreak geodreak I'm not even sure how to say it so I'm not sure how these protractors actually work but again here you get the the circle arrows so that's your rotate this arrow clicking on the scale is to make it bigger and smaller down in here in this area with the four headed arrow is you're moving right, now this one doesn't have the ability to shoot the angle out like the regular pro protractor but as you rotate it from your line or whatever you do get the angle so wherever it started from and here's the angle that's all I can really tell you about this I can show you how to move the different things. If you teach any kind of math where you use one of these, then you know how to use it. But now you know how to use the one on the smart board. Those are the measurement tools that come with Smart Notebook. The math tools is a separate download, a separate install that adds functionality to Notebook, and that is a purchase. So not the math tools, but the measurement tools. And I'll just point out here kind of as a teaser I do have my ruler right here in my toolbar uh, because I've customized my toolbar and I've added it there check out the video on customizing the toolbar to find out how that was done well thanks for watching this is the smart board revolution global virtual user group special edition smart survival guide this has been on the Measurement Tools, and I'm your host, Matt Granger. You can join us for our regularly scheduled monthly Spurgvug meetings around the first of each month. Uh, you can find out more information at smartboardrevolution.ning.com.